So, I saw Fantastic Beasts and where to find them twice. The first two days it was out, and then now we are going to go see it again, but this time with like reclining seats and stuff, right? All right, so I gotta take you guys to the car. I get it, I mean, it's a huge camera in a movie theater. It happens every time, but I still gotta take you to the car now after I already got situated. It's a little chilly outside today, a little chilly. So, this is the first time I'm taking out the big tripod, because I've got, I got, a, I got a new tripod. It's all fucking awesome, I'm excited about it. It'll be a miracle if I can find her car. Oh, I found it. All right, I'll see you guys after the movie. A few moments later. I so lied. I should have been recording, but anyway, so so I get to the car, right? And then I only had one part of the key, so the alarm starts going off when I opened it, and then now it's off. I thought it'd still be on, but see if I can just open it without it going off. See? Two hours later. So I just got back. Mary's not here. I didn't film the whole goodbye today. However, Fantastic Beasts, I've now seen for the third time. I saw it twice. The first two days it was open. Oh, yeah, this lighting's not good enough. Maybe I can just use this light. So I've now seen it three times, and I swear to God, every time I see it, there's something new. Okay, you know what? There's too much echo. Uh, is there too much echo? So, uh, so yeah, I thought Fantastic Beasts was really good. Now, seeing it so many times, I've seen a lot more Easter eggs, like, every time I watch it. So I'm curious to watch it a couple of more times and see, like, what I can find out. But it's really cool to see, like, how they shoot these kind of movies. Um, especially when J.K. Rowling wrote this to be a movie. It's not like she made a book and then was like, uh, let's turn it into a movie, give me all the monies. No, this was made for a movie, so it's still like, give me all the monies. But even with that, it's still brilliant. And like I said, since it's written by JK to be a movie, it comes through so much better. Like every little bit of everything that she wanted to get across was gotten across. I don't know, it's really interesting to see like what they can do with different time periods. I would love to get in the mix on like a, a version of the Wizarding World that is set in the now with everything like, you know, cell phones and stuff like that. I think that would be super cool because then you could do things like Okay, I just went on this little rant of like what you could do with like bewitching phones and stuff like that But my point is technology meeting the Harry Potter I don't I keep calling it the Harry Potter universe, but it's not the Harry Potter universe It's the world in which Harry Potter lives I kind of feel like if anything Harry Potter is to his universe what somebody like Nelson Mandela Gandhi or like Martin Luther King was for our actual universe. I, I just think he's like kind of like a cool figure that was alive at some point. And these movies that are being released now, I think they've announced five of them, are leading up to Voldemort. So it's gonna be cool to like watch all that go through because if you remember in the uh, in the books leading up to Voldemort were very 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 dark times so I would I would love to see that across the screen but that means Oh god, quit leaning back, Kane. That the next couple of movies are gonna be in the 30s and 40s and all that kind of stuff because Voldemort's a grown-ass man by like 2000 whatever, maybe the 1990s or whenever Harry's like around. So, I don't know. It's gonna be like, we're, we're, we're only gonna get up through like the 60s. Um, but it, it'll be cool to see people, ooh. It'll be super cool to see people like Mad-Eye Moody and Tonks and all those kind of people that we like as Harry Potter fans as kids, if we get to. I don't know if we will, but considering the sheer amount of Easter eggs that they try to throw in these things, I would love to see that. All right, so the, the movie's set during the prohibition, pro, prohibition, I don't I keep saying the H. The movie's set when alcohol is not legal, okay? So when they go into like this saloon speakeasy kind of thing, right? It's like a magic speakeasy, and it's probably like the coolest bit of Harry Potter stuff that I've ever seen. It's totally like an underground pub, and then like the waiter's a house elf, and it, well, I guess he's the bartender, but he's a house elf, and he's like, what, you ain't never seen a house elf before? It's just, it was really, really cool 
and I can't wait to see where they can take the Wizarding World. But, as a fan, as a fan, as somebody who recognizes that it's no longer just Harry Potter, we need to name it. It's cool that it's called the Wizarding World, but it's only called the Wizarding World right now because that's the name of the park. So, I don't know. Fucking... Also, real quick, I was gonna end the vlog, but I wanna give a shout out to the company Joby. If you guys don't know, they make the tripods that like pretty much everybody who makes YouTube videos uses. I'm gonna show you why I'm shouting them out, but to preface, their customer support team is fucking awesome. All right, come on, let me show you. This is a Joby Gorillapod Zoom. Okay, awesome piece of hardware, okay? I use this thing every day since I got the DSLR. Um, I'm sure you guys remember the birthday video when I got the, the tripod and I was like, oh, I'm Casey Neistat, I'm basically Casey Neistat. I got Vendy tripod, look, look. It's like, like what Casey has. Look at it, there's you guys. Except uh, I still post videos, so I'm not Casey Neistat. No, I'm kidding, I love Casey, don't. Casey, don't hate on me for that. Don't hate on me, I'm just fucking with you. Actually, Casey, kind of upset, kind of upset, Casey. I built you into my daily routine and you're gone now. But anyway, so, this is a Joby Gorilla Pod, um, and I've used it day in and day out since I got this camera. Now the problem is, is that see how see how this just kind of moves around in any which way. See how it just kind of like does whatever. Um, it does that now, which is a thing that I didn't like that it did. Look at that. Look at that. Hold on. Mm. See, see, see this? This is ridiculous. Anyway, so. Cat, what are you doing? So this is what I used to have you guys on top of. Now, I talked to Joby and they sent me a new one, right? Very kind of them. So I have another one of these, which you would probably be saying, Kane, that's what's holding your camera up right now. No, it's not. So Joby, I don't know why, okay? I don't even know if it was meant to happen, but my name was written in pen, not like a printed off label. Joby sent me the focus. And if you don't know what that means, so this is plastic, okay? It's like, it's the shittier one. Like they make other tripods, but it's the second best Joby that you can buy and it's still the shitty now. This is what you guys look like now. No, you guys I can't even like describe this. Hold on. Let me all right. So I bought this Okay, this is a Joby gorilla pod zoom beautiful beautiful piece of equipment the motherfuckers at Joby hooked it up and sent this one. I Don't know why I don't know who but I appreciate it. There's the size difference, all right? Now this is aluminum, people. This is literally a metal tripod. This is plastic. This is garbage compared to this. And I have another one of these from the same company that they sent me damn near for free. Now, mm. Now, I should probably do a little bit of explaining as to how I got this. I'm not actually entirely sure. Look how red this light makes me look. I'm just trying to like think because I'm, I'm not sure, mind you. They were back ordered because she told me that they didn't have any in stock right now when I asked for the zoom. I said, well, can I trade the bundle I bought towards the upgraded model, i.e. the focus, which I just showed you guys, which is the the, the metal one and she totally didn't even respond to that and then just said that she'd send me my new one in the mail So I got my plastic one in the mail super stoked about that. I was like, yes, I got a zoom Oh my god, I needed it. It was so because my other one was broken So I, I really couldn't make YouTube videos. So I got my zoom in the mail and I was super super stoked about it Okay, two or three days later I get back to my dad's house and there's a box in my bed and I open it and it's this fucking tripod And I squealed like a little girl because this thing's a hundred and something bucks. Okay, I like for Freaked out. I thought there had been a mistake, whatever. Maybe there has, I don't know. I'm not sending it back. I am super, super appreciative of Joby, but I think because they were back ordered, she hooked it up and gave me the nicer one because I had to wait. Because I, I had been waiting for, I think it's been broken for a couple of weeks now. I don't know what gods bless this, but thank you to all of them. All right guys, I think that's where I'm gonna call it quits for today's video, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave me a comment down below, share it with some friends. People really haven't been seeing these videos, so hopefully we can get that to change. But as always, thank you for watching. My name is Kane. What else do I say in my outro? I don't know, but hey, don't leave yet, because for 20 seconds after I say all this, you're gonna be able to click either my face, and it's gonna be like my channel, or you can go to a playlist, or you can go to my merch store. So. Any of those things, go do them. They're all fun to do, but you should share this video. All right, I should probably just give you your, uh, your to-go options now. So, cut to that super awkward shot where he's just like sitting there and doesn't say anything. Yeah, the 22nd one.